Hey guys, me, Brother Chris Tomer here with this afternoon mountain weather update. My first stop, sunny skies, Vail, Colorado. That sun just getting ready to set here very, very soon. But severe clear, that's my forecast next four days at least, maybe five in Colorado. I, there's just nothing major on the horizon for Colorado. Utah, Wyoming, Idaho. It's going to be a long waiting game. There may be something for southern Colorado, northern New Mexico, um, but it is just, it's going to be a long wait. We've got the doldrums right now. Here are my bullet points. The next item of interest is on the east coast. This strong area of low pressure will spin up in Florida and then roll up the eastern uh, seaboard with wind, rain, and severe weather. In some ways, it does resemble the superstorm of 93 minus, and this is a big minus, cold air. A lot of, I've been thinking to myself a lot, you know, this storm would be incredible if there was cold air, if there was, uh, if the northern branch of the jet was involved in this more than it is, if there was a strong cold front that was timing out at the, with, with this area of low pressure. Um, it just, it just doesn't have all the moving pieces that 93 had, but it's a strong storm. I'll show it to you. In fact, I'll show you the forecast animation for it here in just a sec. In California, you've got precip coming 12, late 12, 17, and 12, 18. And I say precip because a lot of it's going to be rain. We're looking at probably a 9 to 10,000 foot, and that hasn't changed over the last couple of days, um, rain snow line, which means that precludes a lot of places from getting snow. And like I was saying, maybe some light snow on or after 1220 for Utah, Idaho, Wyoming, Montana, and parts of Colorado, but uh, there's just nothing major there. It is it is truly a waiting game. All right, here is the um, here's the water vapor satellite imagery, the latest on this. So there is our approaching trough of low pressure that will, in a couple of days, push precip into the Sierra, um, along with a lot of warm Pacific air. So this energy, you can see it diving down into the Gulf. All of this is going to mesh and start to spin an area of low pressure up, and that's what's going to move up the East Coast. So those are the two main pieces in this forecast. So what I did was is I, I widened the view here on the forecast radar and satellite because I wanted to show you how all the energy meshes down in the Gulf and over Florida, and then it forms this area of low pressure. So watch this forecast animation. Watch the Gulf. Everything's starting to come together on Saturday. That low spins through Florida, rain, wind, severe weather, and begins to roll up the East Coast. Here's late 1217. There's 1218. So during the heart of the storm system, when it should be, a lot of it should be snow, it's all rain. Um, and, and quite a bit of rain, one to three inches of rain for parts of the Northeast. Now it will turn over to some light snow. Um, late 12, 18 into 12, 19. So there's some light accumulations on the backside, but that's it. That's it. Look out to the west. Here comes our trough. Late 12, 17 into early 12, 18. Again, it's mainly rain up and down California, unless you're above 10,000. So there's uh, afternoon hours on 12, 18. There's Tuesday in the morning. Now there's Tuesday afternoon. And by the time we get into Wednesday, there's another area of low pressure that slides in, and you can see what happens with that. This one's got a little more cold air. The rain snow line's a little bit lower, so we'll get some additional snow, especially around Mammoth, uh, around 12, 19, 12, 20. And that's the one that starts to take that southern track, and it could affect southern Colorado and northern New Mexico with a bit more snow. And that's the one that could also bring some light snows to other parts of Colorado, Utah, Wyoming. So that's, uh, that's something that's on the horizon. Let me show you the uh, forecast jet stream, the latest. 1217, this is tomorrow, obviously, late in the day. You can see that dip in the jet, that trough approaching California. Here's phase two of that. This is 1224. Uh, again, the, all the cold air is bottled up into Canada with the northern branch. It's all southern branch activity, but um, you'll notice that jet streak coming in off the Pacific. That could change things, but we're talking, I mean, that's nine days from now we would have to wait until at least Christmas or after to get anything major into the uh, to the west. All right, numbers wise, there's nothing here. 1215 to 1217. Um, it's all out east with that storm system. Um, here's 1218 to 1224. This is actually encompassing two different storm systems. Both come through California. Um, and, and again, initially there's very little snow with number one. Number two brings a little bit more, especially around Mammoth. And that's the one that could bring moderate to heavy snow, southern Colorado, northern New Mexico. But everybody else is just out of the flow. Um, the forecast amounts that I've got are very light um, through that period. 
All right, let's go to the east. Here's the jet setup, latest 1217, late in the day. You're looking at a lot of wind, rain with this and jet support uh, escorting that storm up. Here's the forecast radar, a little closer up than what I showed you before. You can see it's all heavy rain, 1217, 1218, and then it changes over to some light snow, 1219, and here are the numbers for the northeast. They're pretty light, one to four inches will probably do it. Um, briefly on the back side as the cold front sweeps through and changes it changes it all over at least for a short amount of time all right guys thanks for tuning in here always appreciate it take care